Welcome to the Team Lawson channel. I'm Teresa. I'm Mike. And, and we're, we're millennials, millennials and, and we're making it. it. On our channel, we discuss all things that move in the intersection of millennial marriage and special needs parenting. We want to create a community that's both inclusive and encouraging. So before we go any further, don't forget to hit the subscription button. It's our goal to make it to 1,000 subscribers before we reach our anniversary date in July. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can let the algorithm know that you think we're awesome. Thank you so much. So, um, housekeeping. Our child has been indoors all day because it is freezing outside. Um, and so she is at the point where she is throwing things off of the stairs and is being excessively loud. And there's absolutely nothing that we can do about it. So, there's that. And we're talking about mom rage slash parent rage. And that's pretty much where we are because the sheriff's department just left our house. Yay! Oh, but we were just talking about how I needed to go by the sheriff's department to give them some information on Macy. Um, and so... We didn't even have to do they that. They just came to see us because Macy keeps calling 911 and they stopped believing us when we said it's not an emergency. Or we missed a call. I am just satisfied. Even though he has my information, it's probably he may search he, me for one. He may send you a ticket in the mail. If he sends me a ticket in the mail, <laughs> Macy's going to pay for it dearly. We have to buy her a GPS locator. We don't have money to pay for tickets for 911. So we had to take the phone from her because. That ain't what I was talking about. Um, we had to take the phone. <laughs> that is an inappropriate joke to make. Just okay, to be okay. clear, it's totally inappropriate. Um, but we had to take the phone from her because you can call. Not, and we knew this. You can call 911 from a phone, an old phone that's not connected. But she hadn't figured out how to do it yet. But apparently she's figured out how to do it. And so... I don't think she getting that phone back. She gonna have to she's not. It. She's, she's going to have to tablet. She's gonna have to use that nice Kindle Fire that her um, tea Trisha gave her. Oh, the very first, oh, the very first Kindle Fire that she ever got. Her what? imagination. <laughs> well, that might be this, which is what she's doing now. And part of the reason that we give her the tablet is not just for us or the phone. It's not just for us. It's also for our neighbors because what she's doing right now, like a minute ago, I thought she was going to come through the floor. She was just dumping up her toys. But like, I can imagine what it sounds like. And we, we try to wait till later in the evening. She's fine. She's just throwing toys. We try to wait till later in the evening before we give her um, the, we take out the chords of the piano um, because not only does she sing, but she wails. <laughs> what? I don't, I don't know. I know. With the loud piano playing, it's just a lot. It's a lot for our neighbors. Um, so, yeah. So how have you been feeling? Because I've been have I've been tell, talking to my therapist about why I feel like I need to run away from it all and just never come back. I need I two things. Mm -hmm. I need a long vacation without the kid. I don't need a vacation. I need to leave and never come back. Are you stopping me? Oh, <laughs> that's how I feel. I'm just telling uh -oh. you. Like I said, I can use either a vacation without the kid, as me and you are, I can use a single long vacation. Uh, and I would let you go, as long as I could go too. Uh, if it wasn't for this freeze, I would probably be glad to go to work. But uh, <laughs> You had to get there, so. I don't want to. Be sliding off the road. No, I don't. So, uh, and it don't look good tomorrow either. But, no, it uh, doesn't. This it's been a lot this past few days. Uh, it hasn't been, been the past few days. It's been for the past year. Uh, I don't know. I feel like she done turned up this past. Yeah, she she done turned up this year. It's and it's not just so much as her turning up. It's her being cooped up, and mm -hmm. us being forced to be cooped up with her. Um, it is not an ideal situation for anyone. Um. The safest thing to do is to social distance um, and to minimize contacts with other people. But that we you, it makes you realize how much of the sanity, the, the sanity that you can maintain throughout parenting is reliant on outings. Even if it's just running to the store to get out of the house for an hour or going to church or 
um, going to play dates or having people come over to the house, like the breakup and the monotony that helps you not to go crazy. Um, yeah. And so Macy is tearing up her house. <laughs> she's, she's found the Swiffer widget and she is completely mesmerized by it. And I guess she's going to mop the floor or she's just going to empty out the Swiffer widget. And there she's gotten to a point where there's some stuff like I just have to let go. Like at mi maximum, she's going to get Swiffer widget stuff all over the floor. Swiffer, we need an endorsement, man. Swiffer is not endorsing this <laughs> poor parenting. So, like, I'm going to let her play with the Swiffer nah, widget. It's not, it's not poor parenting. We just... It sure feels like it. Nah. Because I'm not doing any science projects. They got somebody that got it worse than you, I promise. I hate it when people say that. It's the truth, though. I, I, I that it. doesn't I, matter. I hate the it, The fact that someone has it worse does not matter. I'm just saying. I mean... We need to plug the phone up to the thing. Can I? It doesn't matter. Like, that matters nothing at all to how I feel. Do you need to go check on her? No, I was getting this off. Well, we're not hook picking it up right now. We're going to do this video and then hook it up. Okay. Um, But, like, so what are some things that you have done to cope? Because I don't think I've been coping well, and I could use some um, tips. Because I feel uh, like you have been handling it better. But it may just be because you're able to leave the house more than I am. That's not helping me handle it. Uh... Me, I just I'm be I'm gonna be honest with you. Mm -hmm. Once I get in my phone, I go into a whole nother world. Yeah, but then she's tearing up the house, and I'm left to deal with her. No, that's I. I that's I'm not, true. I'm not that far away in my world. No. So you uh, in a whole nother world, or you in actually? Which, world? which one is it? I, I'm I'm saying it takes my mind somewhere else. But when I need to handle my business with Mason, I handle my business with Mason. Especially these past few days before I went down. Sick, I I was handling Mason. Just, it's okay. We had all had a stomach virus. It sounded like just we were dying. uh, we felt like we were dying, but we weren't actually dying. Like me, man, I just I stayed on top of her. That's that's sometimes that's what you gotta do with her. You know, cause that's a lot exhausting. Of stuff, it is, but a lot of stuff she do, she want attention, and if you just you know, she like a lot of attention. So I mean, when you own her. The less you do, cause you she got your you know she got your attention. I just I, I just try to give her, I tried to give her what she been asking for. That's how I've been coping. But and like I said, it ain't not, I don't give her. You know I, I ain't letting her do what she want to do either. So I mean it's it's a balance. You know, give her. I mean just stand on her. That's all I can say. Uh, you know make sure she ain't getting into nothing. She ain't got no business getting into. Uh, doing stuff with a hand, you know, doing stuff with a hand there. Uh, getting time to myself when I had the time, you know, when she when she gave me the time, just mm -hmm. taking advantage of it. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, that's that's how I've been coping. Just you know, I haven't been coping. I've had the worst attitude the past couple of weeks. The worst attitude. I am over it. And I think it's been compounded with the fact that we've been dealing with elopement. Like, I need something else. And then we were sick with some virus. Like, I need something else to deal with. Um, but um, we have had a lot of off time. This is the Mardi Gras break slash snow day. And then there's the day she was home sick. And before that was the holidays. And it's just been a lot of in the house and you run out of stuff to do like like i understand you know giving her attention and all that great stuff but you literally run out of stuff to do like we're like rationing time with toys and tablet and the phone is now taken away because she'd be calling 911 and the sheriff's office be coming to the house like it's fine it's fine it's okay but why are you here if it's okay um just uh it's exhausting it is absolutely exhausting and then feed her, clothe her, medication, hair, just general care for the being that is the child, as well as psychological, makes it going through. I was coming her the other day and she, she was listening to some praise and worship music and just started crying and bawling. The Lord was moving on her polar heart. She is tired and she is just as tired as we are. And I just, 
I don't know what to do. I don't know what to tell y'all. This is supposed to be some advice videos, maybe. you got, hey, Do you have some advice? I have nothing for you. You ask me, do I have any Do you advice? have advice for the people because I ain't got nothing? What you mean, who dealing with, what we dealing with? Mm -hmm. Man, you just... If you don't have patience, I, it, it'll it'll rain. But I think too, you can use this as an opportunity to. I think even if you have patience, it will run out. Well, no. Nah. I guess my mind, my mindset, my mindset different. What is your like, mindset? I try to extend, and this with anybody, it ain't got to be my kids. You know, I try to extend people grace, like God extend me grace. You know what I'm saying? So that's me. You know I'm not God. Everybody don't have my. I'm, I, I'm not God. I get and that. I, am tired. I get that. I get that. But still, I'm a person that's trying to have his characteristics. So, uh, and that's, so that's the one of them. who are tired are not. I'm not saying that. To I didn't say. I well, didn't say, say what that. you mean because it sounds like you're talking about you good and everybody else needs to be better. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying this is an opportunity. You know, I don't want no opportunities right now. I want a break. What, what you gonna do? I want a break. What are you gonna send? Can't send it nowhere. Why are you asking me futile questions? Why are you coming up with futile things, Teresa? You can't. I mean, I yeah, that. I want a break too. I, I, I want a vacation. I want to travel without the kid. I would love to send her to my parents or your parents. I don't care. I would like a vacation myself. If it's just to Dallas for a week, you know what I'm saying? I'm because we can't. You know, uh, the original plan got scrapped. But hey. What was the original plan? Arizona. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That ain't happening. So, I mean, if it's just a... It don't even got to be that. It could be the other way. It could, be, it could be Atlanta. It could be... Atlanta? Huh? I don't want to go to Atlanta. It could be Florida. It could be... I don't know. It could be Nashville again. I just... I want to do I something. I don't want a vacation just to come back to the same thing that I've been dealing with. I want stuff to change. Okay. I, mean, I want the the international pandemic to be over because people get vaccin vaccinated and wear their masks and numbers go down. I want my child not to elope because something switches in her brain that says, hey, this is dangerous. Let me say in this safe, nice, warm house in my home my parents are creating for me since they love me so much. I want... Um, us to have enough money for us to be able to go on a vacation and travel and not have to spend $300 for alarm system, $150 for a GPS monitor, and however much this ticket the sheriff's office is surely about to send us because they had to come to our house. <sighs> oh, I can tell you on that too. Oh, and the sheriff's office that came out was exceptionally kind. This is not talking down to the sheriff's office. I'm just saying. If they don't send us a ticket, it'd be the grace of God. I don't know. I can say let's pray on some of this stuff. That's all I can tell you. Okay. But <laughs> the advice I can give, I'm just, I'm being. That's the only. I can't. I don't have no magical answer I can give you to, you know, to change. I mean, to give you everything that you want. I I can't do that. You know, I'll be lying, and I don't, I don't like lying. So I'm gonna be honest with you. So I'm probably gonna have to pray on, work towards, and all that there. But uh, advice I can give, just, you know, man, try to be as patient as you can be. It's tough. It's not easy uh, at all. Uh, some of y'all parents know that already. But just, you know, patience. You know, just keep working with them. Keep giving them grace. Keep dealing with them. You know, because we, we was their age once, and our parents did the same thing for us, you know. The even though, they, even though, not this. even though. Our parents literally saying, was like, go I'm outside. Saying, but let and me we were outside Linda, all day. listen, Linda, listen. Yes, they didn't deal with a pandemic. But they we, didn't have to deal with us. A lot of the time, you think about this. From the time that I cannot remember a summer. Where my parents were home. We was just, we ran the streets. Literally. The streets where all of our neighbors or the street that our house was on. I was going to say, what streets? <laughs> <laughs> the street that our house was on. But like, we were literally outside all day, every day. 
Our parents did what they had to do, and they came home and they dealt with us. And then during the school now stop year, right there. what? Now what you just said? What? Your parents still had to deal with you when they got home for the two hours when they got home. Doesn't we matter. have been locked up in the I'm, house for a year. I'm pretty sure. It was times in those two hours your mom wanted to toss you on your head. I'm not, I'm not saying that it was not difficult to parent, but I but I am saying our parents did not have to do this. There is nothing in the tenure of our parents' parenting that compared to this year in our parenting. Nothing. And I'm yeah. not saying they didn't have it hard, but this this past year has not been hard. It hasn't been difficult parenting. It has been catastrophic, and my brain is tired. I'm not knocking it. I'm not knocking it at all. But I'm saying there is times where we ran our parents up the wall. You have before. We all I have never done said it. That and there weren't times that that happened. Didn't happen. Uh, but that you still prove my point, though. They still gave us grace in those times where we were running them up the wall. But they didn't have to do this. Okay. And so we don't know that they would have been able to do to extend that same uh, grace. Okay, and, we, and we'll never know. But my point is, yeah, yeah, yeah. what is your point? Give them grace like our parents gave us grace. We were their age once. We still did stuff that got on our parents' nerves. Even though it wasn't to this extent, yes, this is more extreme than the times we were growing up. I agree with you on that. They didn't have to deal with this pandemic foolishness. But still, you, it is what it is. You got to get a kid grace. We we. I mean, the situation. I mean, the situation suck. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's hard. Macy it, says, "Oh well." It's, uh, <laughs> it, it's, it's it's difficult, but you you know you gotta make you gotta make the most of it because oh, you know this ain't gonna always last. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's a bit of memory to us one day. So. All right, how are we doing to work together as a team? Uh, I think we we work on. We doing all right, but we need to work on attitudes. We already talked about my attitude in the past few videos, so we're not bringing it up no more. Uh, Something else. No, no. <laughs> Something else. No, we still need work. <laughs> Shoot. Uh, I mean, just work on patience. Being patient with it. Uh, it it's hard. I agree with you. It's tough. But just you know, work on being patient with it. I'm, you, you preach it to me all the time when I, when I get impatient. And, and like I said, I'm trying to practice what you've been telling me. You got to do the same. We're brothers. Are we done? We're happy and we're single and we're colored. Single and we're colored. Give me a high five. Are we done? Uh, What am I doing good? I appreciate you for being um, uh, willing to, like, you know, run errands and stuff when I'm too tired to do it. <laughs> what? It's really helpful. Hmm. I guess I let that one ride. Let that one ride. You want me to take it back? Fine, I take the compliment back. It's not useful. I don't appreciate when you do it. I don't know what you want me to say. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, if you'd like to follow us on social media, we're Team Lawson at Facebook, Team Lawson 225 on Instagram. If you would like to send us a topic or talk to us directly, only if you're serious, you can email us at Team Lawson 225 at gmail.com or call our Google number 504-252-0531. Is it 252? Yes. Okay. We love you guys. God bless you. See you next video.